Let's go here now. Let's go. Full mistakes, 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 mistakes. I know. <laughs> Hey guys, this is Pin Binning at DJ and Driving School. So before we get started with the video, I just want to let you guys know that this one's a really interesting one. The reason for that is because the Lena driver, uh, bless her, her name's Zafio, she wasn't really ready for a driving test. She's got it booked in about four weeks uh, from the date that she did this mock test. And by assessing her driving, she, was, she wasn't ready for a driving test. But the good thing was, after the mock test, she assessed herself and, and realised that she wasn't ready and she identified herself what her weak areas were, which is the whole point of the mock test. She did the mock test in her own car. The main reason for that was because she's not having lessons with uh, myself or any other instructor at DGN Driving School. She's having lessons with another local instructor. Obviously, she didn't want to tell him, so she couldn't do it in his car. So she's got her own car, which is insured. So she felt more comfortable doing it in her own car. And please do be nice to her in the comments because she does like I said earlier she does make a lot of mistakes hopefully you guys will, will learn a lot from those mistakes and guys don't forget to like and subscribe and remember to turn on your notifications the reason for that is because every time i upload a video you guys will get notified straight away and i will be doing a lot more of these videos the reason for that because i'm getting a lot of requests for mock tests and guys if any of you want a mock test just make sure you're local to wolverhampton because we've had lo loads of uh, requests from places like manchester london and obviously we can't go out that far so if you're local to wolverhampton and you want a mock test that's no problem at all hope you really enjoyed the video so let's take a look at the mock test hey guys welcome to another driving mock test video so here i've got zafia with me today and um, zafia wants to do a mock driving test in her own car so we're in her car and i've just met her about 10 minutes ago yeah, yeah. okay so i went to her house and jumped into her car and we've come here to wolverhampton test center where we're going to carry out a mock test from so i've, I've never met you before have i no. so just well, like i said we just met 10 minutes ago so what do you think about your driving at the moment? Do you think there's any weak areas that you need to work on more? Or do you think you're, you're okay? Yeah, there's some, some areas weak, but I try my best. Okay, good. And your driving test, it's, you said it's in February, so you still yeah. got about a month left. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so anything that goes wrong today, you can go back to your driving instructor. Yes. And, and obviously sort it out with him or, or her. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right then, so... Um, before we start, just a, a, a quick quick guide about doing your driving test in your own car, yeah? Did you know you can do your driving test in your car as well? No, it's my, um, another, uh, my tutor and car. In your instructor, you're, you're going to do yeah, your instructor's I car? Movement. Okay, that's yeah. fine, yeah. Like a lot of people, they they do it in the instructor's car, which is, which is the most common thing. What it is, I have had people that think that the driving examiners supply you with a car because in some countries they do actually supply you with a car but here in the uk you've got to make sure you have a car for the driving test it could be your instructor's car or um your own car if you've got your own car like um zafio's bought today just make sure it's insured you've got l plates l plates at the front and the back and the other thing an interior mirror so i bought mine bought, i bought mine with me you can pick one of these up online for about three or four pound and just make sure you got one of these. So if you're going to take your car for your driving test, if you got one of these, it's good. If you haven't got one, the examiners normally go in and just, just uh, they normally grab one from the office anyway. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to put this on. Okay. Finally got that. And hopefully it stays on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Then right. So um, we're going to treat it like a normal driving test. Okay. Yeah. So this is going to last about 40 minutes. And if I don't say anything, just follow the road ahead. Yeah, we're going to start off by following the sat nav. Okay. Okay. So before we start, um, the show me, tell me questions. Okay. Yeah. So the tell me questions, we're going to do that now in the car. Okay. And then I'm going to ask you one whilst we're driving. Yeah, the show me one. Yeah. Okay. okay. So could you tell me how you know your head restraint is adjusted correctly? Head. So could you tell me how you would check your head restraint is adjusted correctly? Head restraint. Head restraint. Head rest. Head rest. Like, um my head also. <laughs> no. So you know your head restraint. Do you know what the head restraint is? Head. This part? Oh, head straight. Yeah. The, the head straight is help your neck to straight. Yeah, it does help your neck, but 
uh, how do you know I suggested correctly? Yeah, I can try, try to uh, go down or up. Yeah, it does go up, but how do you know it's at the correct position? One is from here. Okay, so what you have to say, shall I give you the answer? Mm -hmm. So the ridgy part, that's the middle part, yeah? yeah? Should be level with your eyes or the top of your ear. Yeah, from okay? here? Yeah, the middle part of this. Okay. Yeah, you understand that? Yeah, I understand that. Okay, okay so just before we get started, yeah? So I want to let you know that any faults that you do do, I won't say anything, yeah? But for you guys um, that are watching the video, um, I will make sure I edit it and just like the other videos, I will let you know when the fault's coming up so you guys can pay attention and watch it. Okay, are we ready? Yeah. Okay, start the engine when you're ready and move off when you're ready, please. Okay, I'd also like to mention that Obviously, because this is not an instructor car, there's no pedals here. I know. Yeah? <laughs> okay. So hopefully, yeah, yeah. you're a safe driver, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, right. Move off when you're ready. So here, as we get to the end of the road, Zafio stops a bit short of the giveaway lines. Therefore, she hasn't got the best of view when she's looking out for vehicles on the main road. And even when she did decide to go, it was quite risky because there was a car coming from the right hand side, which she couldn't really see. Lucky for us, the car wasn't coming that fast. So Zafio just about got away with this one. What she should have done here is she should have edged forward until she had a much clearer view. Remember, if you can't see either side clearly, don't decide to pull out until you're a hundred percent sure. Here, Zafio should have checked her mirrors before and after overtaking these parked cars. As you'll see, there are no mirror checks here. After 300 yards, sharp right, A4123, Birmingham New Road, then turn left. Here we're turning right at the traffic lights and as we approach the traffic lights there is a gap for us to take but Zafio decides to stop which is hesitation and the position she takes up is wrong so I have to come in and help her out and also she doesn't look out for the lights changing so I have to help her out there as well. Okay steer this way please. Okay carry on now. Carry on, carry on. Once she's on this dual carriageway, she builds up her speed well and keeps a good position. After 400 yards, turn left, the Burnham Road. So it's not these lights, it's the second lights, okay? At the moment, Zafio is driving in gear 3, so for this next turn, she should slow down and select gear 2 and then bring the clutch fully up. Notice how when she approaches the next turn, she doesn't change her gear and also keeps the clutch fully down for the duration of the turn. This is what we call coasting. Turn left.
Here she keeps a good gap when going past the parked cars, but again you'll notice there are hardly any mirror checks when going around the cars. Here, ask Safia to park anywhere safe on the lift, which she does pretty well apart from her mirror checks which she could have done a bit sooner. So her parking up isn't that bad. But when moving off she does pick up two driving faults. One is you'll see that she rolls back, uh, that was because she didn't have a clutch at the correct point. And the other one is she does not check her blind spot, her right blind spot when moving off. Okay, move off when you're ready. And as we get to the end of the road here, again she stops quite short of the giveaway markings and also she moves off again on the hill. You can just tell that she's not very confident even though this time she doesn't roll back. Here Zafia picks up a driving fault for clearance. So there's a parked car on the left hand side and there's an oncoming vehicle. The oncoming vehicle has got priority because a parked vehicle is on Zafio's side and the gap is quite tight, quite narrow and Zafio doesn't really slow down much and just squeezes past. Here she does well with getting a stopping position and keeps a good gap from the parked vehicle and waits for the oncoming cars. But again you'll notice there are no mirror checks when overtaking and changing direction when going past the parked car. Here again we're turning right at some traffic lights and as we are on a slight uphill road Zafio rolls back a little bit just as she's about to move off, so that would be a driving fault. And then when we're turning right, there's an oncoming vehicle. And to me, it looked as if Zafio was about to go, so I had to step in and ask her to stop. Here the speed limit changes from a 30 to 20 mile an hour zone and as you can see there are clear signs which Zafio misses so I have to come in and just notify her of the speed limit. Okay, could you slow down please, it's 20 miles an hour. After 300 yards, turn left, A463, High Street, then go left on the roundabout and take the second exit, A459, Dirtless Street. and take the second exit. So this is another difficult junction with a restricted view. This time Zafir's observations are quite good and she does this junction well. Go left on the roundabout and take the second exit, A459 Dirtless Street. Then bear left, A457 Tipton Street. At the roundabout, Zafio makes a driving fault with a signal, so the directions given by the sat-nav 
where that she was to take the second exit and she signals left on approach which means she's taking the first one as you can see there's this road on the left hand side so she should have cancelled the signal and not signal really until she passed this junction but she left a signal on from the start which is a driving fault need any help? Is just going, help? going down there As we move off here, Zafia forgets to select gear 1, therefore she stalls, but her reaction is not too bad, so this will be nothing serious, just a driving fault because the reaction was quite good. On this left turn, just as she did earlier, you'll see that Zafio, she doesn't change her gear and she also keeps a clutch all the way down around the turn, which is coasting. Turn left. Now I've switched the sat nav off and I'll be giving Zafia the directions. Here we have another serious driving fault. Again, it's at a right turn at traffic lights. So this time when we're turning right, our lights are green and there's no oncoming traffic, which means Zafio should have just gone, but instead she starts looking to the right and left and hesitates and just stops at the green light. And again, I have to come in and tell her to go. Okay, we can go. Ready? At this left turn, again Zafio keeps the clutch all the way down during the turn. So again, another driving fault for coasting. Here Zafio picks up a serious driving fault for being too close to the parked vehicles. As you'll see, she's driving really close and I have to come in and ask her to steer away from the parked cars. And there's quite a few hazards there, especially with the pedestrians around, so she should have been a bit slower and left a lot more clearance. Here we have another uphill junction and again you'll see that Zafio stops a bit short of the giveaway markings and even though she doesn't roll back this time you can clearly see that she does need more practice on her uphill starts. So here we have another right turn at traffic lights and yes again she gets mixed up and so you'll see me coming in and helping her out here.
see a lift here. Let's do this over here. Wait here, wait, stop here, stop. That's it. Okay, after this car, now you can go. At this roundabout, Zafia's approach speed and her observations when entering are quite good. She also keeps her position really well, but she signals slightly too early. And also, there's, there are no mirrors when she's exiting the roundabout. So we enter this car park to carry out the Ford Bay Park manoeuvre and as Zafio starts this manoeuvre you'll notice she does not do any observations, any mirror checks before driving into the bay. She should have checked her centre mirror and right mirror just to ensure that nobody was behind her or trying to overtake. Okay, we're going to do the Ford Bay Park manoeuvre. If you could park Ford into one of these bays please on the right. Yeah, any bay you want. Street. You want to make it straight? Yeah, yeah. So here she's slightly over the white line and she asks if you can reverse back to straighten up which is absolutely fine. You are allowed to do that. But there are a couple of things wrong with the way Zafio does this. So firstly she doesn't keep good control of the car. As you can see it's rolling forward slightly and then she stalls. And the other main thing there are no observations when she starts to reverse back. So if you do want to readjust on any manoeuvre, that's absolutely fine. But always ensure you do your observations. Check what's going on around you before readjusting. So that would have been a definite serious fault for those observations there. If you could uh, reverse back out now, so if the back of the car, that way we're going to drive out this way, yeah? Okay. If you could steer the other way please, steer the other way. Here we're turning right at this big roundabout and Zafio selects the wrong lane. She should be in the right hand lane but she ends up in the centre lane. She does actually realise that she's in the wrong lane because she points it out. Ideally she should have just stayed in this lane and even taken the wrong exit which wouldn't have been a problem. But what Zafio decides to do 
is cut across into the right hand lane as soon as she enters the roundabout and this was quite dangerous because there was a vehicle next to us and as you'll see I had to come in and help her out and take a bit of control and then give her the directions. So this would have been a dangerous fault. Right through, Daisy. <laughs> Here now we're heading back to the driving test centre where we will be reflecting on Safio's driving and let's see what she thinks of her driving and how she did. As I ask her to take the next turning on the right, she gets a bit confused and thinks the turning's further down and nearly misses the turn. And here, when we're turning right at the end, Zafio rushes it slightly. So she should have done a couple of more checks to the right and left. And gear one would have been a lot more ideal than gear two. That would have slowed her down more, therefore giving her more time to do more observations. Okay, right, so... <laughs> full, full mistakes, I know. <laughs> I know you, like full so, mistakes. How do you think you went? Go on. Uh, you're saying you've, you've made quite a few mistakes. Yeah, yes, there were a few mistakes mm -hmm. there, but it was a mock test. It wasn't your real test, yeah? Your real test, you got a month, yeah? So mm -hmm. what do you think are the main things you need to improve? Where were your mistakes? What do you need to do in this one month you've got left? First, round about. Roundabouts, yes. What do you think is wrong with the roundabouts? Um, it's like when we, you know, when we were going straight ahead and left, yeah. that was okay, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. roundabouts. Yeah, roundabouts. And about, and, um, but you know, traffic lights. Good. Well, I have to. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll go on to a traffic light interview, but roundabouts. Yeah. yeah. Let's talk about how they are, how you feel about them. Yeah, because that's the important. So roundabouts, yeah. you don't feel hundred percent on them. Yeah. Okay. So what do you think you need to sort out? What do you think you need to improve on? On the roundabout. So what do you need to do? The um, lane where I, I wanted to turn in or and time to position and mirror. I know that I have the problem for mirror. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad <laughs> you said that, yeah. Yeah, okay. I know that I have a problem. You, you, you're not to be a safe driver, yeah. You yeah. have to know what's going on around you. The for okay. mirror and the looking. Yeah. Okay, it's not yeah. just for a test or anything, yeah. Okay, it's like you know on that normal, normal driving even. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Normally as well, you. I just don't feel that. Do Do you think you know what's happening around you all the time? Yeah. 
you do. You have to know. No, yeah, <laughs> sometimes exactly. they forget. Yeah, sometimes exactly. Forget. And you can't, and you can't forget. Remember, once you pass, you're going to be in the car by yourself. Yeah. You can't forget. Like you yourself, know, what? Yeah. because it's safety. Yeah. You you know that roundabout. Yeah. yeah. Okay. My phone's ringing. Let me just silence that. Okay. So, you know what? Um, that roundabout where I should turn right to the exit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, you should have been in the right hand lane. Yeah. yeah, and you, yeah, you, you realized that, didn't you? Yeah, I yeah. realized, but yeah. the, too late when I'm coming inside. Yeah. The so, you, if you're in that lane, yeah, yeah, okay, did you, you know, when you enter the roundabout, yeah, did you know there was a car next to you? No, yeah, so, I'm, I'm yes, yeah, so you know, when you enter the roundabout, yeah, there was you tried to go into that lane, didn't you? Remember when I moved you back this way, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. what was next to you? I know that uh, another, another car, yeah. so, another sh car. so should you have gone into that lane? Yeah, so when I moved there, I said, because I'm realized that to go in his line, yeah. because you say that uh, third X. Yeah, so uh, if you make so, mistake, okay. don't go, don't don't Ex try to uh, exactly fix it from exactly there. Yeah, exactly yeah. do what's safe. It's not just about your test. Okay, yeah? you know afterwards as well. Yeah. So say if you're in the wrong lane, yeah. it doesn't mean you could, you have to go that no, way. Really Think okay. safety. Just go the wrong way. In the end, what do we do? I can't see your signal, and it made you go the wrong way. The, uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, safety first. Safety, everything first. Yeah, so everything obviously first. roundabouts need some work on. What was the other thing we said? You, you were saying the lights. The, the traffic lights. From yeah, they're the, called crossroads. Yeah, crossroads. crossroads. Especially crossroads. Yeah, the traffic because light. Because a lot of, lot of the crosses is coming. Yeah. And it's not the manage the lights. Sometimes you manage yourself. Wait that one. Wait that one, and you. I know that one okay. also, I so I'm gonna obviously um, you can watch all the faults in the video, yeah? yeah. Okay, but I'm gonna quickly talk about crossroads. Yeah, so you know crossroads, yeah. Traffic light control ones. Yeah. So there's traffic lights ahead. Yeah. Yeah. And there's traffic lights on the side. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you know when your light is green. Yeah. Yeah, and you want to turn right, who do you have to wait for? The oncoming cars. Yes, good. Yeah. Oncoming cars. Oncoming cars. Yeah. But the, I need to know the which position I have to stop. Yes, perfect. Yeah. You know your yeah. positioning. Yeah, that you position. You need to understand I that because understand your me. positioning. Yeah. Too early. Yeah, or sometimes too far it's back. Too far. And a one cross. So you just mm. the lights are green. Yeah. You're gonna turn right. There's nobody coming from ahead. You can and, go. And yeah, you stopped for the cars on the side. Uh, yeah, if you are not moving quickly. Yeah, of course. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. okay. Yeah. So that's another area you need yeah. to work on, yeah? Okay. Yeah, that two things. Good. And you also said mirrors. Yeah, mirrors in general, there was yes. a lot of missed mirrors, yeah? Yeah. It's, especially when, you know, when you're overtaking some cars, yeah. sometimes you do check that right mirror, yeah? Yeah. Okay, but after overtaking, you need to check this side again, okay? Yeah. And even like on a... Um, your normal turns, yeah. you're turning left or right, yeah. Yeah? yeah. So, have you ever heard of the MSM routine? MSM, MSM routine? Yeah. MSM, no. No? MSM routine. Okay, so your instructor should really be teaching you that. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, so, MSM stands for mirror, signal, maneuver. Yeah. Okay. 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 So, what, what you're doing sometimes, you're not checking mirrors, you're doing your signal first. Okay. Yeah. Before, then, before yeah, mirror. Yeah. Always okay. Told me, you need to ch you need to see what's around you before you start you, you your start routine. The, yeah? yeah. Okay. So it's mirror signal, and then you're maneuvering. Okay? okay. So you know when you're taking a turn. Yeah. Yeah. So after you mirror signal, you slow down your car. Yeah. What are you supposed to do next after that? When when you slow down. Yeah. So say you're turning left or right. Yeah. Yeah. Say you're driving in gear three. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes I do gear three. Yeah. What, what, I, you, what are you supposed to yeah, do? Yeah. Because when I'm done after I'm done, I remember. I yeah, exactly. you make therefore, <laughs> you make therefore, you know, you know the clutch. Yeah. Yeah. So, say you're on the main road and you're turning into a side road. Yeah. Yeah. You're supposed to do your mirror signal. Yeah. And then slow down. Then which gear are we supposed to get? The um, two. Two. Good. Yeah. And then once you get gear two, where yeah. should the clutch be? After you change your gear. After I'm changing gear. Yeah. After you change your gear, yeah. what, what should you Come do with it? Off. Yeah. Foot off the clutch. Yeah. On all your turns, where where did you keep the clutch? Do you know? When I'm when I'm turning, yeah. Where know, are you keeping the clutch? You know the problem. <laughs> First, I I I make the um, difference instructor. Yeah. Some of them they teach me clash, fast clash, <laughs> clash. So still I'm remember that clash. I pick my control in clash. <laughs> Sometimes I think okay. so I'm, I'm controlling the car the clash. Sometimes I want the uh, control for the brake. 
then I go to the yeah clutch. yeah then you should go for the clutch but when you're taking a turn yeah. your clutch should be coming up, up it should be up the, and, yeah and, uh, yeah you're brake. keeping yeah brake. yeah they yeah. use the brake to slow your car down if you need yeah. to yeah but you're keeping the clutch down that yeah. that, that is what we call coasting yeah, yeah and then the car is coming sometimes it's, uh, the shouting for the for the um, gas when okay. you take the gas yeah, when you, you come here then gas Cars going yeah. to so you need to work on your clutch as well because you're coasting a lot and even when you need to stop somewhere you're just going for the clutch too early yeah, yeah. coasting is not good for the car it gives you less less oh. engine control okay okay so sometimes makes the car a bit faster as well especially when you're going downhill yeah so you need to you need to work on this you need to go back to your instructor yeah and s tell him to talk you through the msm routine it expands into MSPSL we stand for mirror signal position speed look you need to have some kind of routine that you stick to when you drive yeah at the moment there's no routine okay yeah okay no one so but you've got a month yeah yeah, yeah I've got a month okay so like I said earlier in the camera she hasn't had, you haven't had lessons with with me yeah, yeah okay yeah. she's been with a different driving school yeah. but it's good you had this mock test yeah. you need to tell your instructor like you know what your weakness is like we said roundabouts roundabouts crossroads traffic yeah. light ones yeah yeah, yeah. okay your and mirrors and the other thing yeah. that we're going to touch on, how do you feel about your hills? Oh, hills. <laughs> hills, I have to, you know, the one that turns off the car. Yeah. And because uphill, especially uphill, it's not, it's not, um, I'm not good for that, preparing that. Yeah. See, again, yeah. all these weaknesses, you know, don't you? Yeah, yeah? I know. Okay, <laughs> so what you need to, you know, if you're paying somebody, you're yeah. paying your instructor, yeah. yeah, you should say to your instructor, look, this lesson I want to do hills or lesson on hills yeah, yeah? yeah. okay so he can make you better on hills yeah, hills, yeah? yeah roundabouts yeah turning right at lights yeah okay my mirrors now you if you're paying someone uh, and your test is about a month away yeah. you, you need to tell your instructor this is what I want to improve so you understand yeah what you need to I work on yeah. okay right I would like to say a big thank you for this video because yeah, like you said there was a lot of mistakes yeah, yeah okay yeah. this is good, really gonna help people yeah yeah yes. okay when they when they watch the video yeah. hopefully it's helped you as well yes, understand okay. yeah. and guys if uh, you found the video helpful don't forget to like and subscribe and I have had a lot of people asking for mock tests just like um, Zafio here yeah we're happy to do your mock test here yeah, but you've got to make sure you're local to Wolverhampton we had calls from London, Manchester, and if you're all the way down there, we, we, we can't really do a mock test for you. Okay, thank you very much. And remember, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.